On the surface, nothing seems amiss in the waters of the Gulf of Mexico, just off the Louisiana coastline. Deep below, however, an invisible phenomenon threatens aquatic life forms for months on end, year after year. In order to understand this problem, we need to go further upstream to the farmlands of the Midwest. Just like humans need oxygen to breathe, plants need nitrogen to grow. Farmers know this all too well, which is why for decades they've used nitrogen fertilizer to grow crops. Nitrogen fertilizer is particularly important for farmers in the Midwest who grow corn and soybeans. But too much of a good thing has consequences downstream. Some of the nitrogen fertilizer that farmers apply ends up in streams and rivers, including one of the largest in the United States, the Mississippi River. And we know that the Mississippi River empties into the Gulf of Mexico. So a lot of that nitrogen fertilizer that entered waterways upstream actually makes its way all the way into the Gulf of Mexico, creating problems there, including the dead zone. Dead zones are low oxygen areas caused by excess nitrogen in water bodies such as oceans. Low oxygen levels in oceans hurt marine life, forcing it to flee its natural habitat. In other cases, it can stunt growth or even kill some aquatic species including commercial species that we eat as food, such as shrimp. The Gulf of Mexico dead zone doesn't just hurt marine life, it hurts people who depend on healthy Gulf waters for their livelihoods. Gulf commercial and recreational fishing industries are a billion dollar industry supporting more than 200,000 jobs each year, according to a recent Union of Concerned Scientists report. But fishing in the Gulf isn't just about economics or an industry. It's about important cultural and regional traditions that go back generations. We can shrink the dead zone if we invest in policies that help farmers adopt healthy soil practices upstream, especially those in the Mississippi River watershed. When adopted, these practices can help farmers to reduce the amount of nitrogen fertilizer that ends up in rivers and bodies of water like the Gulf of Mexico. Doing this will help farmers to adapt to climate change while preserving their soil health for generations to come. And in doing this, farmers can help to protect the economic vitality of Gulf fishing industries and the communities that it supports.